everyone, and thank you for tuning in to Carrie Psychic Cafe. I'm Carrie Ann Hartley Sokowski. We're here, we're live, and we're in Cary, North Carolina. I'm here with Amnon. Hello. And I'm here with Fran. Hello. And we're all in studio, and we're going to rock it tonight. Um, just so you know, I just wanted to let everybody have a little bit of a heads up here. Our number here is 323-792-3050. Uh, Again, we're here, we're live. You can either call in or you can chat in our awesome chat room or you can listen in. Uh, we don't like you to do that. We like you to participate if you could. Uh, what we do here is I have four awesome guardians that rock it and come through and basically uh, what they do is they answer your questions live, okay? Today we're going to have a couple testimonials to call in and um, for those of you that haven't had the experience of our awesome chat room, we have staff in there. Um, the staff tonight is, I know it's Aunt Joan, Susiani, and Margaret will be calling in the questions here to the studio. It does become very, very fast, so get in there if you can. If you're not seeing me do all this great stuff with the hands, refresh, please. Um, again, our number here is 323-792-3050. Um, the rules in the house are as follows, um, and, and there's one question uh, per person. You can call it in or you could chat it in the chat room, and somebody will get to it. And if you call in, and we're going to answer it, my Four Guardians have um, taken it uh, over a year now, and uh, we have definitely, definitely have um, kicked butt. Um, also, I just have to bring up an attention here, and um, which is very, very much of an amazing thing for Carrie Psychic Cafe. Um, we have, um, Carrie Psychic Cafe has accepted the contract to be a part of A, number one R, Psychic Radio, as of December 5th, uh, 2013. Um, and it'll be at 9.30 live, and we're going to give you all details for that. But it's a pretty big thing. If you want to go on their website, you can. Um, they're also on Facebook. Um, again, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. And no, this show isn't going anywhere. We're still here, too. It's just a matter of um, starting, you know, to do different things in order to do it. So, again, our number here is 323-792-3050. Um, you could call in. You could chat and everything like that. I have an opportunity uh, to give you um, an update here. We're going to do the this November and December uh, show special. It's uh, $10 for 10 minutes. And um, I would suggest if you're going to do that, everyone who's watching and who's in the chat room, that you do it and you do it accordingly as soon as possible because the appointments will, will build up and the waiting list will happen. So please do give that. Also, for Christmas, I'll tell you right now, we've been kicking it around with the PR and everything. And we're going to do 20 minutes for 50 for a Christmas present. Um, as far as if you want to give somebody a gift, give them the opportunity of knowing what's going to happen with them. Again, my four guardians, I have a doctor, my grandmother's one, my father's one, I have a cousin, and, and I will tell you, uh, we've been on this, we've been pretty good, pretty helpful with people. Um, oh, I also have uh, my Facebook, and I also am on my website, it's um, carriesightcafe.com. If you're not in the chat room, you won't be able to click above my head like I say every time else. And um, so, uh, again, anybody that's in the chat room that's new, there's people in there to help you. Uh, I have to explain this every day, every time we come, because there's so many new people every week. There's new people. Uh, we're going to talk about a lot of things tonight, and we're going to try to kick it up and do it in a rocking type of way. And um, so whenever ready, let's rock it. Dawn. Hey, Dawn. Hi, how are you doing? I'm awesome. How can we help you tonight? Hi, I'm a friend of Margaret's. Um, I saw your link on her page. Oh, thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah, how you doing? <laughs> Margaret's awesome. In. Um, my question is, um, there is someone who's passed over who was around me uh, a good bit, and I was just wondering if you could pick up on them um, and see if they had anything to say. Um, the, the only thing that my grandmother says as far as uh, who's around you um, is a, a – I'm not going to – we're going to jar around with this. There's actually three around you. There's the grandmother. There's a, there's a, a male figure. And there's also a, 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 not a real older figure around you, but they huddle over you and are more of a guardian figure. And you've been around the mm -hmm. bend about two times before. And this person that comes around and, and, and always with you actually plays with you a lot. And they actually have so much that they want you to say to you as far as the career is going, as far as your difference in, in what you're doing. And there's also other things, mm -hmm. that, and there's also, I'm sorry, and there's also, like I'm in this studio, and they're also letting us know that financial gain is right there for you. It's just a matter of the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more that you have to do. And you're amazing with people. And you have the, this, the raising, thank you, the garden of like, I was just raising, raising aura about you. But what mm -hmm. you need to understand about yourself is that you have to love yourself in order to love others, and I know you do, but you need to be more needy to yourself and not worry about so many other people. 
And that's what my guardians okay. have today. But thank you so much, Dawn, for calling in. I appreciate it. If you could go back in the chat room, you're welcome to ask another question or voice your opinion about what you heard today. And thank you so much for joining us. This, the, the group in, the, in that gathering is amazing, and everybody that watches is amazing every week. So please let somebody know. We can help out and, you know, can join us again. Thank you again. Okay. And, again, and our number here is uh, 323-792-3050. Genevieve. Genevieve. Hello, Genevieve. How are you? What a beautiful name. Wow. Hello? I'm good, Carrie. How are you? It's actually G. Hi, G. What's up? Um, I was wondering, I've made a lot of changes in my life lately, um, and my grandmother was extremely important well, in my life, and she's been gone, uh, you mm-hmm. know, a little over seven years now, and I was just wondering what she thought of the changes I've made and if, you know, if there was anything she wanted to say at all. So what's going on with a relationship, Jay? What's going on with that? My like my marriage wise, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Eh, it's it's rough right now. It is. Now. It's extreme. You know, well, she to said go through everything with opening a new store and just everything in general. Jay, I'm telling you, it's the it's it's everything. It's 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 the store. It's the um. It's the it's the husband with the issue with the thinking the health. Um, and they're like you know the store is going to be successful. I'm not worried about the store. It's just hard times right now, and um, you know, I, I, you know, it's about getting the direction and, and getting and getting yourself focused about it, and you know, your health also. And as far as getting, you know, you so panic so much, and you, you know, you got a little girl to raise. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there, there's a lot of yeah. things here. There's a lot of special issues here, and um, and, and thank you. And, and your grandmother wants you really, really to work on her math skills. Your daughter, your daughter comes up very highly today. As far as you know, gifted in so many, so many things. Um, what's what's going on with her ailment? Um, she just still constantly has you know stomach issues, and we just have not been able to trace it anything. You know, we thought right. it was you know milk, so we tried like lactose stuff, and it mm-hmm. just comes and goes, and we just cannot figure out what it is. We had her to um, another doctor who suggested you know no straws because maybe she was taking in too much air and she was drinking, but it just seems like. Nothing's helping. And she, has she been tested? Has she been? Ha- Aaron said, "If she's been tested for aero, aero, um, IBS, she has not. That's what he needs to be tested on. We've hit it. Just go get it done. You'll save her a lot of. Lot, you'll save yourself a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. But as far as as far as getting into what grandma wants from you, and there's something else going on with the house, and, and financially, these guys are kind of like you know just like pulling at each other, pulling at each other." There's a lot of decisions to be made here, too. I mean, you just opened up this business. I mean, you put everything you had into it. You know, you, you got to, you know, you, it's, it's, a, it's a pressure point for you. You know, they, she said that you got, you know, kind of like stressed about everything right now. So, um, you know, yeah. I, I, you know, they're not saying, thank you. They're not, thank you. They're not saying anything about a failure in a business here. They're saying that you got to watch your business doesn't fail your marriage. That's the problem. Okay. It's very important. It's very the detail is so is so there is so there that and he's being sick with the back and and, and the pain and thank you and the pain and stuff. Aaron said that that you know this is this is all coming to a head. It is thank you. It's all come to a head. Does it even show me your household? Right. So yeah, but thank you so much for calling in, Jay. I appreciate it, and uh, I'll be up there soon. I'll see you soon. All right. Thanks so much, Gary. All right. Right. right bye bye, Jay. Okay, our number here is 323-792-3050. We're here, we're live, and we're kicking it in uh, Cary, North Carolina. I'm so happy to be back. I'm going to be spending my birthday here uh, on Tuesday, and I'm going to be I'm so old. No, you're not. I am. I'm going to be 46 years old. I'm old as heck. Uh, so, um, Elaine. Hi, Elaine. How can we help you today? Hi. Hey. How are you? I'm awesome. How are you? I'm okay. Happy birthday early. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, I uh, should have announced them, right? I had met you up in Salem. I know. I, I know you. How are you doing? I'm good. What's up? I've just been really busy. Oh, I know that. <laughs> I knew that you would be. Yeah. We had a really good reading. Maybe you could let everybody know that. Did you enjoy it? I mean, was it, you know, you're calling in today. You, do, you, do you like the show? I'm glad that I toned you on to the show. Yeah, I do. Okay. All right. What could I help you with? Well, you had told me to give you a call about my brother. Right. 
Cav. And what do you want to know about the brother? Well, basically, you were telling me that he was in an accident, but it wasn't really oh, an accident. Oh, yeah, this is this is a whole case. This is a this is a case. This is not this is not an act. It's not an accident. There's people involved. There's a series of things involved. Um, there's a report that that should have been done. There's a lot of things that are missing in this case, and that thank you. And he's so stay. Oh my God, he's here now. Look at the goosebumps. Um, you know, there's a lot of evidence that needs to be taken, you know, into consideration. He's showing me this way of this road, and there's there's just not something right there, and there's just some, there's some type of discrepancy in that. Thank you. And he show and he also tells me that you need to start taking care of better care of yourself, and you need to start understanding that you know you come first, and and your health is it, it got some issues too. But I, I don't know if we addressed that in your reading or not. But starts with, but um, you know, it, it requires. A need for a, a longer, a long jerio period of time in order to, you know, as far as if you want to go forward with it and you wanted to make a, was making something out of it, you need to let me know, and then we can do a detailed, you know, full blown just on him reading. I mean, you know, the show is only a minute or two, but um, you know, if it, it's 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 worth looking into if it's going to value his life. I mean, he's not pushing me towards saying, you know, you need to do this right away, but he just wants everybody to know that it just. You know, it just it just wasn't his fault. So, you know, that's what everybody in the world needs to know. And if I declare that today, that's fine. But and for you, as far as closure is concerned, um, you know, a closure is, is, is amount that, you know, oh, oh, wow. That's 30 he, years in the making? Yeah. He loves you so much. Oh, my God. He really does. Yeah. He really does. Oh, wow. There's a lot of love here. Got a lot, lot, lot of miss. A lot of miss. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A lot of tears. Thank Definitely. you. Definitely. Yeah. My grandmother, says she feels so bad for you because she, she understands that, that when you toy with something like this and you were constantly thinking about it over and over again, it becomes repetitious. Like you say, maybe it wasn't, maybe it was, but you know exactly what I know, what happened. There's just something wasn't right. And as you continuously go over it again, we can go into detail, but, you know, like I said, it's a, it's not a, it's the show that has other things going on in it, but you know, again, um, I have an offer on there. If you wanted to do, you know, wanted to open up this and you wanted to do something like that, you could, uh, you can do that. It's up to you. Um, you know, I, mm -hmm. I, I offer no November, December. We have a special on there that we run on the, on the show. It's 10 minutes for $10 and you want to open it up that way and see if we can get a case going on it. You know, these are all different things that you can do the Avenue with, and that's totally up to you. But I got his back saying that this is just not, an, this is just something that just, just didn't happen. You know, and, and it could be even within the, the, the roadway. I mean, there, there's so many significant parts to this whole this whole death. And, um, you know, and, and there's so many people that still mourn over it. The man was the man was a great yeah. guy. The man was a great guy. So, again, we could open it up and we can we can talk about it. But, you know, but thank you so much for joining the show. And if you want to talk more in the room and there's that if there's anybody else in your area that would like to help open this with them, with the lead, she can talk. Are you in the chat room tonight? Yeah, I am. I was trying to figure out how to get to where you're telling me to go. All right. Well, what you could do is um, if you're in the chat room, you could click above my head and click to that. And it says uh, book a reading. And there's that, that whole thing for it's what it is. It's 10 minutes for $10. It's, it, it's November, December special. Everybody hears it. If you do it, please do it now because appointments are going to fill up and you're going to be like, what? Um, so click above it or you could go to CarriePsychicCafe.com. And book a reading. But thank you so much, Arlene. And stay in the chat room because maybe somebody can help you out more in there, too. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Love. Thank you. I met her in Salem, New Jersey. I mean, I mean Salem, Massachusetts. I mean, look at that. What an impact, Fran. Yeah. <laughs> Helen. Hi, Helen. Hey, how are you doing? I'm awesome. How are you? I'm great. I was wondering if you could give me some insight around career, if you saw me uh, with a new job or staying where I am. Yeah, who's the grandmother that's around you? Is it mom or dad? Uh, both. Yeah, well, you, you well, no, well, you got several women, but both of you, because they're good. Thank you. My grandmother said mother, grandmother. Um, big influence on this job issue thing. Um, career booster, um, money maker. Hip shaker. That's what my grandmother's saying. She's too funny today. Um, she's got, you got a, a lot going on, a lot on your plate. Deep breath. Deep breath. 
because you know what it, it, it becomes where you have to you have to are you doing difference thank you my father said is there a difference in this what do you mean is the job different yeah um, yeah, it's a lot more responsibility and with not a, not a lot more staff. Okay. Can you just turn her up just a little bit, Ann? Okay, so because they're, they're throwing me at this place here, and you got you got yourself and you got a couple people in an environment, and now you're ruling, you're, you're showing them what to do, and you're contributing to it. Right. And the money value is, is, is contributing more to you, too, as far as your dollar amount. Good move, but not going to stay there forever. This is a good resume pleaser. It is going to evolve into after, thank you, March 15th, they'll be looking at something new coming on, whether it be a new new, new direction as far as, thank you. Uh-huh. All right. New direction, new new job, you know, like as far as like you, the managerial, whatever you're doing as far as running this show works for you. It's an advancement for you. Keep going at it. But it's hard. It's, yeah, very. I know. So, you know, you got to keep at it. And there's one person in particular that's very difficult to work with um, that you have to just learn to. Um, and you know what? Thank you. My grandmother says, do not tolerate anything. If you feel something's not right, just because you've been somebody before and now you're somebody new, you have every right to be the authority. So, you know, learn to be more, author- do the authority the way you have to. Okay? Okay. Thank you so much for calling in. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Our number is 323-792-3050. Pretty cool. People are getting what they need tonight. How's the chat room doing? Alexa? Yes. A couple of weeks ago, I had a reading with you in Salem. You told me a relationship is coming up mm-hmm. in my future. Maybe they'll ask it. I thought that was just a comment, but it's actually a question. Oh, okay. All right. Well, so maybe our know. chat staff will give us a call yeah. and... Talk with Laura. Hey, Laura. Hey, how are you? I'm awesome. How you doing? How can we help you tonight? I'm doing great. I spoke with you a couple of months ago um, about some things that were going on, my divorce, and just a lot of things with my family, Aww. my kids, and some, mm-hmm. some things that my son went to military school. Since then, my dad was in hospice. Um, my dad's passed on. My son is in military school. Okay. And it's just my young, my, my divorce is final. And my question for you is um, kind of about my dad. You know, I don't, I, I thought I would feel him a whole lot more than I do. My sons say they feel him. But oh, I'm, he's I'm with, just, you know. He's with the boys. He's with the boys. Um, thank you. And my, uh, my father said the reason why he doesn't feel you so much is that you need to, like, understand to, even though you want him to come in and you want to allow him to come through, there's things you need to do in order to build that for you to get him in. Um, it's, it's, a lo- it's, a, it's a rough ride with grieving because um, sometimes when they feel you're too uneasy to come through, they hold back and they'll go to the kids first. But even though you're saying, okay, you know, I want to see you, I miss you, I want, you, know, it, you know, smudge smudge the house, light the white candle, and just it'll happen. Because you are, you have actually ability to have this happen. So he will come, but he works through the boys. So if you if the boys are acknowledging him, he's there. He's just bound to come to you. It's just that obviously thinking. What's going on with your career? Um, I have just taken on. Well, when my dad was sick, you know, I I, I did an unselfish thing and I took away from my income and I stepped away from my business. Because I wanted to take care of him, and I struggled, but I did that for personal reasons, for healing for my son. Right. It's a military school that was really close with him. Right. That's really had a hard time. But since he passed, I remember you. In the past, I remember. Her. I was given a promotion, and um, it's a pretty big responsibility for me. It's wow. in the same field, but it's a lot of growth, a lot of potential for money to be made. So I kind of feel like it's my reward being given back for you know. Karma. Fred, what's on that arm? Karma, baby. I told you. Everything that you that you gave up in order to take care of dad for and, and with your son because they were so close. Everything you've given up has come has come back in folds. It's called karma. It's called it's called being an amazing daughter. And amazing. Not many people do that. Not many people have the ability and, and want and need to love their parents so much to take away from their own self and not do anything and go forward with their lives. Um, 
You're, I, I commend you. I really do. I really commend you. I'm going to sneeze. I commend you. Oops. Okay, sorry. I sneezed. Thank you. All right. All right. Anyway, um, I don't want to rub, rub my nose live. But uh, I wanted to say um, if you uh, if you take the steps forward to doing a smudge, it's called a smudge stick, um, and also lighting a candle. If you're in the chat room, there's a lot of people that do that all the time and get their people to come in. It's like it's like a goofy chat room I have. It's a very spiritual chat room. Everybody knows about smudge sticks. Everybody knows about doing different things in order to bring your your your, your spirit on. We call it, and um, that's what you need to do, my love. And I I want to say tonight I want to commend you on everything you you did because um, not many people do that in the world, you know, not many people. So try that and hit, let them. Thank you. He'll come through. Give him time. Thank you so much for calling in, Laura. Thank you so much. Can you scary real quick? Sure. Did what you say? My son is here. Hey. My son, he took a break. My son is here, um, the one in military school, the one that was very, very close with him. And he's having a hard time there. Um, and I told him, you know, the reason my dad left when he did, he died a week before Brett went to, went to military school. Oh, boy. And, you know, and his journey there yeah. is bigger. A lot yeah. of people don't know that my dad, they don't know about the two years that Brett went through, what he went through. Right. Um, but I... I know he's there, and I just want you to be able to maybe give him encouragement through from my dad that what he's doing is, is bigger than what he realizes. That going through this military, because you and I talked about mm-hmm. this, and you had told me, you know, he was going to go through it. He was going to be okay. He's going to be but, fine. You know, he needs that. Right. You, you need to, that. thank you. Even my father said, you, you got to go through this, kid, because this guy, your, your grandfather, hey, let me tell you something, buddy. You're going to live a life that your grandfather would want you to live. You're going to go through it, you're going to make it, you're going to be encouraged by it. They, oh, my father's like, tell that kid that, it, you, you know what, you need to continue to keep on keeping on. And every day you go and everybody you say, oh, I don't want to do this, I want to do that. It's like failure to him. Because if it wasn't for you, it wouldn't be him. And and vice versa. So the relationship you guys had together means so much more even now in spirit world because he can even, without being sick, he can now go to the next level with you. And that's why he so much comes through and tries to be with you and tries to be with all the family because he is with you constantly. But you need to stay and do what you need to do and finish that because that's so important. Okay? And, um, you know, maybe eventually you could take advantage of for Brett. It's just um, you can do the November, December special. or I mean, just it's 10 minutes for $10. I just would have, an, I would have a more intimate moment with him so that I could say more than publicly because he deserves that. He deserves to hear the words from his grandfather. So um, a little bit more so than what he just did. But thank you so much, and, and I hope that we helped tonight. Thank you. Um, again, our, num- our here is uh, we're running a November, December sp- special before it runs out and the month's up, and we go into March and April with readings. Um, well, we'd like to offer uh, 10 minutes for $10. It's very easy. What you do is go to com, hit book a reading. I'll go on it, and there's uh, the option there, and you just put $10 in and hit it, and it goes to PayPal. Um, and then it'll go in through booking, and then everybody will start lining up. And it goes like that. So, And then we have the uh, Christmas gift special. We keep on saying it's 20 minutes for 50. What's a better gift than to book a reading, give somebody a reading so that their lives are better? Do we have anybody from the chat room actually going to be calling in some questions tonight? Yes, we have Susanna. Is Susanna calling in? Hey, Sus. Hi, I've been on hold, Carrie. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm only, we're, we're having fun. <laughs> we're having fun. We're just having fun today. I was only kidding. I don't mean any disrespect. So what could we, who do oh, we got I today? I know, I know, but but you got a lot of calls. I didn't want to interrupt either. No, thank you so much. Thank you. It's a, I, I, I'm wonderful. How are you today? I'm good. Okay, what's the matter? Um, we're going we're gonna to start off with, um, I guess um, you had a reading with Hilltop? Yes, I did. Okay, well, he's at the hospital right now, yeah. and his wife was put on a breathing um, ventilator machine yeah. to breathe for her, so he's asking for prayers, Yes. and he wanted to let you know his son is home with them. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I just had, Hilltop couldn't really afford a reading, and he's been in and out, and I gave him 20 minutes the other day on the phone, and his wife is not doing really well, so we're going to ask for prayers and wishes, and his wife is, um, he's been through so much in his life, and he had so much going on. And, um, you know, we, we ask everybody for whoever's listening to the world. Yes. Very much all to do prayer. Thank you, Suzanne. And the next one, hon? Okay. Um, Genevieve wants to know if her grandmother wants to tell her anything. 
Uh, Jen, we answered that one. She called in live. And the next one? Oh, okay. Well, then, um, also announce that one question per person, because Genevieve is also asking other questions no, in chat. No, we got I don't one know person. If people understand. One, one person. One question per person, please. Thank you. Okay. And also, if you're calling in, don't ask the questions in chat. There you go, because it confuses my chat staff, like just did. So please, we'll get to your questions. And if you're gonna, if you decide. That you're going to call in because you can't get your, your questions. You got to let me know I did a chat question so I could tell my, my staff. They're in there working their butts off and everything. So they they do answer. Do you have any more, Susiani? Yes, Lori Johnson. Um, oh, hey, Lori. Today, today would be her dad's 75th, 75th birthday. He passed in February 2006. Yes. She'd love to hear from him and what he has to say about her future. Wow. Um, he needs to, Lori needs to um, actually really, uh, she's doing a great job contributing into the world and to the degree of what she's doing as far as her ability and her spirituality and her sensuality. But Lori very much so needs to find um, someone to be equally gifted and, and talented in a, in a partnership. Thank you. And he said that he misses and loves very much her. Um, he's with her all the time. I mean, I don't understand this question, but he can talk to her all the time. What I'm feeling, thank you, sir. What I'm feeling is that he wants you to find and have love. He wants to also be able to bring you and find love. And he needs you to also want and need love. And there's a deficiency in your body right now um, that's screaming to me. And I don't know if it's a hemoglo- I don't know if it's hemoglobin or I don't know if it's an iron thing, but I taste it. And there's something up there. And I don't know if it's because you haven't slept because there's been off sleep days. Thank you. And sleep, sleep, constantly dreams. So I just, uh, I just need to let her know that. And the next question. Thank you, Laura. Um, okay, Sarah D. Hasn't been feeling well. Mm-hmm. Um, and she wants to know if you have any idea what's going on with her health. Sarah D. has a breathing problem. Thank you. Sarah D., we had a, we had a question. That I feel so heavy chested right now with her. Thank you. So is that that? Bronchular, okay, so, all right, so it is. So it's breathing, it's uh, circulation, it's all about, what's going on? Why am I feeling deficient? Oh, it's vitamins, it's stress, it's worryment. That's what it is. It's a lot of that, too. Sarah, told you. <laughs> I'm reading with her. And the next one, Suziani? Um, we okay. We good? Uh... Is Jen, any, is that, how many is, Jen ha, wanted to um, some validation from her brothers who have passed. Okay, one second, please. Mm. Sorry, had a sneeze, had a blow. Um, and what'd you say the last one was, Susie? Oh, it was um, Jen. Wanted some validation from her brothers who passed away. Do they have any messages for her? What's validation? I don't understand that. What do you mean well, validation? Well, I guess if they could, have something could... to say to her. Um, Jen? Well, I, I know that I have. Um, my guardians have something to say to Jen. Jen, there are certain things going on in your life right now. Of course, I can validate that, they're, that they have passed away, and I can validate that they've passed away in different types of situations and they, they left her, uh, they left the family with, with wanting and needing. But with Jen, um, life is getting better right now. Life can get better. Things are opening up. Things are being, things are being, thank you. Things are happening much more for you right now. You need to keep on the path that you're keeping on. Um, I thank you. Cause they said so, something happened in the past that, um, was kind of contributing to something bad going on in your life, but now things are starting to look better and get better. Is that good? Is that all, Sus? You good? Um, let me just check something here. Wait a minute. Um, uh, mom, mom, is, mom, mom. Who else is okay. calling? Okay, yeah, I think that's it for now. Aunt Joan's calling in. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Hello? Hey, Jeff. How are you? Carrie, how you doing? I'm awesome. I'm in North Carolina, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love Sounds it, baby. Like it. I love it. I love it here. I don't want to go home. Um, but uh, I'll tell you right now. What can I help you with? Everybody, Jeff's on the line. Yay! Hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Hello. Fred said, "Hey, <laughs> what's going on, well, Jeff?" 
Well, um, I have something I'm very concerned about. Uh I hope you can help me out. Okay. Um, my cat got out the other night, and I can't find him anywhere, and he's an indoor cat. He's been all his life, and he was given to me by my fiancé who passed away, and I really miss him. I was hoping maybe you might have some insight on that. I don't know. Thank you. But my, my, my grandmother says that that cat is not far. And then the property, okay. that property that you're on right now, there's this, I, I don't know if there's a little house. Thank you. They're showing me this little wooded thing. I don't know whereabouts to the oh left to the right. And that cat's there. Oh, my God. I got, I've got a wooden shed out here. That cat's in there. Oh, my gosh. Get in there. Go get it. I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to get a flashlight, and I'm going to go get that cat. Go get that the cat. Never... That, fi- that fiancé was screaming, get that cat. So just want oh. you to know. All right. I'm glad we helped you. Hey, Rev Jeff's in the room. You know what his deal is that, you know, what he's been through. So but go get the cat, Jeff. I sure will. All right. <laughs> Thank you so All much. All right. You got it, my friend. Bye now. So we saved the cat. Yes. Hey, Chris. Hello, it's Chris. <gasps> um, hey. It's- Hi, Unique. What's up? How are you? Thank you for calling. How's it going? Oh, I'm doing okay. Uh, last week, uh, I mentioned I was uh, woke up by a woman singing to me. Yes. I feel like I'm not, but I'd like to know if I'm correct with her name and what she needs. Okay, so what's her name that you said? Grace. Yeah. Yeah, what was the song she was singing to you? True Love. Right. So it's got to mean something. <laughs> From 1956, I looked at the lyrics the other day to research it. Right. So there's got to be meaning to it because I'm seeing, I'm seeing, like you know, like more of the 50s. I'm seeing more of a of the. Thank you. You're you're on the money with it, but it's just a matter of a matter of just wanting to find out what she needs from you now. You have to call upon her again, Chris. She wants to be my one of my guides. Right. Well, then let her in. Let her in. Let her in. I, I'm going to find out what connection she has to me. I'm going to try to, over the next few days how she's connected to me. Okay. Well, you could have many spirit guides. You could, I have four guardians, believe me. Um, you, can, uh, you could have many. I, I don't know how much I could handle more if I had another. I don't think I could really handle another one. Like some people say they have, you know, Uxmancy. I, I, I don't know. I, when I had my dad came on... I, Six months ago now, I just, like, totally threw me off. But I got used to him, but I don't need any. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good with four. I, I know someone who has eight. <laughs> Telling everybody, do you really? I, I mean, I, I've heard people who said that they had it, but, I mean, I name mine. I mean, mine talks to me. I, I When we do this show, I mean, for a whole year, I mean, you know who's which guardian's talking. So, um, Joey Boy, my cousin, don't say much because he likes to mess with more of the teen people. Uh, but my, really the three pro ones. But you... Uh, you're gonna have a few, my friend. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to start na- writing them down. So everybody in the room. Yeah, Grace. Yep. So you know this Grace, is. Grace, your... I, I. What? Yeah. Uh, Grace, I'm from. I did a little research past couple of days. She actually was a well-known person when she right. was alive. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. You only have well-known people come to you because you're too, you're tremendously gifted. Next, next book, screenplays. Let's go. Let's do the. Let's write, write yeah. down the journals. Let's let's get this happening, my friend. You're a chosen. You know everybody knows you need Chris. Oh. So I would consider yourself to be very very lucky to actually know him and talk to him in the room. One day he's going to be this big wig. You know, I'm telling you, the guy's got amazing ability. We all love him. Thank you so much for calling in, Chris. I appreciate it. Keep on keeping on. We love you. Mark. Hi, Margaret. Hey, Carrie. How are you, honey? I am awesome. How are you? Great. I'm glad your grandmother's doing well. Yeah. I've got a bunch of questions to call to to come at you with, so we'll see what you can do. Um, Larry had asked um, where his prop is is in his camera. Is it stolen? I want her next. Um, You wanted to know? All right. What was that? Who is this? Larry? had asked a question. Oh, Larry um, DeBrave? He, he had lost his prop and also his camera. And they were, he was wondering 
where they were and if they were stolen. Why does Pennsylvania come in? My 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 father keeps on saying Pennsylvania. Was La- who's La- which who's, who's, who's this Larry? I, they said Pennsylvania, and it was left. It wasn't stolen. It was left somewhere. Okay. And it was left in a place where okay. there was a house, and they're showing me a so they're showing me a um, a kitchen a thing with a kitchen, and it's around there. So wherever he was in PA, there Pennsylvania, it was at a house, or it was last night. And the next question, please. Okay, the next question is from Dawn. Um, she's a friend of mine, by the way. Okay, and she wants to know um, if you could tune into the male figure that is around her and who it is. We already, I already talked to her live, Margaret. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. That's okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. That's all right. Go um, ahead. The chat room's crazy. Okay, I know. Chrissy, um, you didn't do Chrissy. Okay, wanted to ask about her best friend, Annie, and then will she try her find her true love? Will she find her true love? Will she? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, my grandfather has a problem. Well, Annie, Annie's a, Annie was a great piece for her as she lost her, but would she find true love when she brings down the wall, he says, and gets to business? Annie will have no problem with it, but she needs to, she needs to bring down the wall and understand the focus and forget about the past. Let it go. Let it go. Rock it. Okay. All right, and the okay. next one? Next. Okay, yes, okay, from H. Punkin, okay. Um, his, wait a second, his mother wants to know, uh, he wants to know if his mother no was going to come through today. Huh? And if she's here. I, I can't, I can't hear you. Um, you have to repeat the question. He asked. Who? Okay, he asked. That his mother to come through, and if she is here. Who is this person? What's the name of the person? This is for H, H P U N K I N Pumpkin. H, um, I, H Pumpkin. H Pumpkin. Yeah. I I don't have a mother figure. What my grandmother pulls through con- is a father figure, and more of a a, a male figure. Okay. And um, they're saying basically that you need to understand that there's a there's a financial situation and there's a job situation, and then there's a dispense of a dispense of money situation. And you have to understand that if you do not address this, you will lose out. Thank you. You will lose out on it. It needs to be addressed. And that, is that all today, Margaret? You got or you... okay? I have two more. I have two more real quick. Mickey Ann wants to know who her biological father is. Is it John or Charlie? It's Charlie. And your next one? Okay, next. Lori, what does your father um, have to say about her future? <sighs> Lori? It's her 75th birthday today. Yeah, we already answered that. What am I going to? Yeah. Uh, I'm so oh, no. sorry, Jerry. That's okay, the sweetheart. No, 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 you'll get used okay, to it. Okay, well, that's it. You'll get, listen, you'll get, <laughs> you, I keep on looking at Amna because he's so handsome. Um, <laughs> But you'll get used to it. Really, I had a, you'll. You'll fit right in, believe me. It's hard. The chat okay. room's hard. <laughs> I'm you not did great. Ask questions for me today, so no, did you, people. I'm no, good. You're great. <laughs> you're, you did wonderful. Thank you so much for t- for participating. Okay, Don't give up on us. Sorry about the question. Don't worry about it. We got. Right, I hope bye. we nailed them. I hope so. Okay, bye. Boy, see, um, like everybody says, like I know if everybody that's watching today, but's not in the chat room, you have to understand that our chat room blows up. And when people ask questions in it, that's why I have the chat staff in there, that they call up the questions because there's no way I could physically read it and go down and do the things we need to do and everything like that again. So, again, we're going to tell you about that November, December special before it all runs out. Uh, before the end of the show, if you click above my head or you go to CarriePsychicCafe.com, we're going to run 10 minutes for $10. Please, before it's all booked out and there's no more left, please do that. And um, we ask you to do that even after the show. And um, it's very important that you do so. So, Hi, Aunt Joan. I've been searching for you. Hi, Car. How are you? Uh-oh. What's up? You okay? Oh, no. No, I'm sitting here waiting to get through to you because I'm sitting here and Joey Boy is here. Uh-huh. And I just can't believe, well, I do believe that you mentioned him. It's, it's just unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, it's very, he's here today. Yeah, He's here, but mm-hmm. I didn't catch. What did you say about him when um, he loves to only participate? You were to Chris. 
Well, he, he, he only loves to participate. My cousin, who left us very young, very, very handsome, um, was very close to me, like a brother. But he only likes to come in when there's younger questions and hipper questions and cool things to talk about. He, that's, I don't mention Joey much. And that's what I said. But he's here. He's here tonight. He's Absolutely. Here tonight. He's making a stand. He said, because I had to yeah, say finally. that. He's a little frig. But anyway, you know, I, I just, so <sighs> he's crazy. He's crazy, that kid. He talks crazy sometimes. He was a beautiful boy. Yes, he was. All right, I'm going to start with Ann W. Her friend in Bristol, England, had his leg amputated last week. What do you see for his future? Well, Aaron said that there's not a problem with the amputee. The problem is that in the head now. There's a problem of how he's going to go forward, and thank you, and about family standing up. There, somebody needs to stand up more for this person and get them some more help. Um, thank you. And now the grandmother, because he's Britain. There's, there's associations out there that could help him over there in the other country that they don't do here in New Jersey. So... Um, if that person needs to call over there to, to get some advice, I think we could do some research on this in order to get him some extra help. And the next question, Aunt Jo? Okay, it's from Kelly. Hey, Kelly. And Kelly said that she's been Kelly, mm -hmm. and she said that she's been seeing John for three months, but the relationship doesn't seem to be going where she would uh, like it to be. Should she um, give him more time or cut her loses, losses and move on? Um, my father said that you need to cut your losses and move on. It's just not working out. Um, there's 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 difference already. And at three months, if there's difference, believe me, at three months, three months, six months, nine months, three years, um, unless, you, unless you were, you know, to go get life coaching and I could hook you up with that, um, you know, you better have the talk. I always say have the talk. So don't, thank you. They're yelling at me. Don't, don't break up. Have the talk first. And the next one, Aunt Jo? Okay, this is from BHS. Mm -hmm. And he lost his dad a couple years ago. Is there any messages for him? Uh, sorry about, I'm sorry about your loss. Um, I'm sorry about what happened with your father. He's, um, no, no, he's not in pain. Um, he just wants to know that he's sorry that he left and that he needs to let, um, I know that this, whoever this is has a, has a sister or and a brother, there's children involved here and he left very, he left some things unsaid. Um, I suggest very much so that you do, you had to do that reading for 10 minutes and for $10, you really need to, um, there's some circumstances here that need to be addressed and that would be a great thing. But as far as you're concerned, what he, need, what you need to know today is that there's some decisions that need to be made in your life. And they need to be made ASAP. And the next one, Angel? I'm tired there. Okay, this is from Alexa. Alexa. She had a reading with you in Salem, and you said that she would be in a relationship soon with someone that she would be friends with first. Do you know who this person is already? Well, I think that um, when I had done with Alexa, uh, thank you. My father says that it starts with an R, and I think we told her that. Um, but it, it's very close. It's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's comfortable. It's a situation that she could fall into, and, it, and it'll evolve from something. And the next one, Angel? That's it for me. I think Suziani's on hold. What? All right, talk to you later. All right. All right bye, bye, honey. Bye. There's something wrong with her tonight. Angie. Hey, Angie. Hi. Hey. How are you doing? I'm all right. What's up? Um, Angie. I have a question for you. Um... This week, something, well, not this week, but actually last week, something major happened within our family. Right. And I just wanted to know what what my husband's thinking. Where's Ralph in all this? Ralph has a lot going what do you on. Mean? What's going on? Ralph wants to know what the hell is going on. Like, And there's something going on with a dog, and there's something going on with a, a significant, what, is, what's going on with your brother? What happened? Well, that's the problem, and I want to know that's where Ralph. Ralph stands. Does he stand aside of me of what I did, Absolutely. or is he mad at, uh, at me? It, the, the studio just went nuts just now. You all missed it. I don't know if you missed it. Did you see that? Yeah. Oh, the studio just went bam. That's Ralph. Um, absolutely standing what? with you. Huh? Oh, my God. My stu when I said your husband's name, the studio just went, like, went up and bam. Um, let me explain something to you. He's totally with you. Thank you. Totally with you. Totally, totally, totally with you. 
Good going. Okay. Keep going, Ange. Okay. Don't Keep stop. doing what I'm doing? Absolutely. Clear house, baby. Do what you got to do. Make okay. it right. Make it right. Uh, as, long as, he's not, as long as he helps me, because I've, I've gotten into some of the, uh, what I needed to look at, like My, EPA and stuff like that. I want to know he's, he's, he's behind me all the way. Oh, yeah. If you would have saw what just happened in the studio, you would know Ralph was with you along the way. I said Ralph okay. and the and whole studio. That's why things are opening up so fast for me this week. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Ann. You okay. got this. Thank you. You're All good. Right. You got Bye-bye. this. Bye-bye. Um, again, um, if you'd like to visit me, um, you can visit me on my website at, at carriesegacafe.com. Am I making me laugh today? Um, and also, I have Twitter. I have Facebook. My Facebook's so long, Emma, I hates when I say it. It's psychic medium, Carrie and Hartley Sikowski. He just shakes his head. Uh, click it, like it, follow me. Um, you can do all that and other awesome little things. I want to talk about a little bit today, um, a little bit before we go further. And I know that there's people waiting, but this really needs to be said. Um, I don't know if everybody knows this in the world, but every month um, this Carrie Psychic Cafe uh, puts out um, a, a, a tremendous amount in order to run the show. We've been doing it for a year. We love what we're doing. Uh, but it's time right now that we ask um, that it can be a contribution of somebody else that wants to contribute to the show. It, it could be a dollar. It could be up to five. I, we don't, at this point, you know, it's just about contributing in order to making the show more successful, go farther, helping out more with it. And it's time. It's time is right to do it. And time is needed. Uh, you can uh, go to carriesecondcafe.com, whatever you do. Um, and also, if you do contribute, um, the value of the contribute could be, you know, depending on what the value is of it, uh, you can, we're going to do the smudge stick or we're going to do, you know, depending on what it is, uh, there's different things that are going to go out. I know that we've got some things we're going out, you know, but as far as that, I can send you an email thanking you and, you know, one question. But um, we'd like to also start the ball rolling with that contributing. Sponsorship always is welcome. I mean, it's just a unique way to run the business through our show here at Nisa Communications. You could, you know, it's, it doesn't cost much to sponsor, but your, your show is just broadcasted to every one of our shows. I mean, it's just not my show on here. The, the, I, the, the, to contribute to your business in order to make it go completely successful is right in front of everybody. That's thousands of people that are watching today. So um, a little bit about that. And, you know, just a little bit about here about what we do as far as helping everybody every day. You know, as that, and if you tell somebody about the show and you contribute and you do that, you're helping somebody and you possibly could help somebody save somebody's life. And um, if you are watching this and you're not in the chat, then you're really missing out on it because there's a gathering going on in there. What we started a year, we are not going anywhere. We, we're only getting stronger. We're getting larger. But there are things that are needed to happen in order to, you know, make the show even more successful. So, and uh, we have uh, about 10 more minutes left. So, Annette. Annette? Hello, Annette. Hi. Hi, Carrie. How are you? I'm awesome. How can I help you today? Good. Uh, we help you. Uh, first, I want to tell you that um, I did talk to you a couple weeks ago. All right. And you had told me that I would find a job by November 12th. Oh. And uh, you also told me that I would be doing the same thing, but just in a different industry. Right. I wanted to let you know you hit it right on the news. I oh. got a job doing the same thing, but just in a different industry, as you said. So Thank I just you. wanted to let you know about that. Oh my um, God. But the other thing is, now that we got my employment straightened out, Yay. I, need to know, I need to know about my personal life. If Ooh. you may have a name of somebody that I should be maybe put my eye on. Well, L.I. Is definitely comes up right away. Uh, but the, the fact of the matter is that um, the person that significantly needs to be with you is absolutely with somebody else. It's, it's in, a, in a relationship that's really dwelling down. And uh, the letter D stands out very, very much so, and it's and it's 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 Dylan. It's not David. It's D Y L N. But it's it's more of a he's winding down, and you're going to be ready to go. But you need to, you know, you're ready. I want to say you're ready. Uh, but you know, when you everybody in our age is set in their ways, and this is what I'm saying. When you're set in your ways, uh, you know, we want you to find love. We want to let the universe bring you love. We want to help you with love. You need to like be really, really ready. Is what I'm saying. We got the job in hand, okay. and now we have to work on you. And that's that's what I'm saying. Now, right. You got to open up, open up all your chakras and everything, and let everything come in. Okay, that's very okay. important. All right. Thank you so much for all joining right. us, and thank, thank you for the you. live testimonial. Everybody hear I, that? She got the job. It's everything. I mean, this is what it's about. Live testimonial. You know, book a reading. 
get a reading. It really works. It really does. Thank you so much, my love. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. Mary Lou. <sighs> huh? Mary Lou. I'm Mary tired. Lou. Mary Lou. Hey, Mary Lou. How are you? Mary Lou, how are you? Oh. I am on click. I'm on a couple my... of... Is this couple Mary Lou? Ago, my aunt passed away. Uh, all right. And I'm it's my mother's it. twin, and I would go see her almost every week. She was kind of in a vegetative state. I felt like she could hear me. She just couldn't see or talk. Um, she passed away, you know, like I said, a couple years ago, and I just needed to know if there's anything she wanted to tell us because I don't think she really meant to pass away. I just don't think she got the proper care in the facility she was at. No, that's neglect. My aunt thought, oh, man. <sighs> wow. Mary Lou, like I always feel like she could understand me. Absolutely, you are. You and her are too print. Too. She's never going to leave your sight. Thank you. My grandmother said, number one, that it was neglectful. But I can't legally say that here. But she can. She mm -hmm. said, number two. Um, right. There were so many things that could have been done, but because she was in a state of not going the right way, she became right. more and more less right. less coherent. And um, and right. when she went, she went, um, but she went on it. She went unannounced because it like she went from deficiency. So you know, right. you know, and it's about neglect. So you know, I don't I don't know what you're doing about that, but there's nothing we can do now on this earth about it. But there's no pain, no suffering, but she misses everybody. So, yeah. you know, and there's nothing that more so that she would want to say. And uh, can you please tell me that, do you have any children? I do. I have three. Okay. Uh, do you have a daughter that's uh, an older yes. daughter? Okay. Because I'm just letting I... the, the, do you, the, the daughter, as she wants, she said that she's so much into and being with all the time because of her creativity. And that don't worry oh, about, that is don't, so true. don't worry about where she's going. She got this. She's got this. Oh, yeah. she, she'll, she'll direct her and guide her. So just let that let that focal point that she, she, she's still with you every day because she's with your daughter. But, you know, your daughter is actually gifted, very gifted. All your kids are she very is. smart, but she's extremely gifted. So, But thank you so much for calling in tonight. I truly appreciate it, my love. Thank you so much. That, that was really hitting the nose. That was really good. Thank she you. Very, she's very gifted. Aww, thank you. Thank you so much. Well, like I said, if, 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 thank you. If everybody likes it so much and they want to do it, book a reading. We're doing a special. You can just click. You can bump my head or go to CarriePsychicCafe.com. We got the 10 for 10. Alexa? I don't know. Alexa? Alexa. Hi. Hey, lovey. Oh, hello, Carrie. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm awesome. How are you? What's yeah, up? Thank you. And I have a relationship question. Um, I know two men. It's so funny. They have the same first name. Mm -hmm. One of them I've known for some time. The other one I just met in September. Right. And I was wondering, do you see a relationship in which with which one? Like, I want to have something long-lasting and serious and someone more like partnership in life. Which one? Um, my grandma says, which one has a nickname? Ah, uh, nickname. I'm not sure. I, I never ask him about. I, I never ask any of them about nicknames. <laughs> okay, so well, I see one of the two. So one of the two has a nickname, and that the nickname, and one of the two is not very faithful. So I'm going to do number one and number two. And I see Antonio. Number one and no, thank you. And number one and number two. Number one, good, good, nice egg, old school. Number two, kind of a player, kind of go. I would go more with the first one, the older relationship. Take that to the extreme. Go more so that way. You know, be more direct. Say what you want. Say what you need. You're getting at the age where you're saying, you know, I'm kind of old now. What I'm going to do with my life. Thank you so much. And then they're like, go for that one. So that's what they're uh, telling I, me. I'm sorry. I'm confused. Thank you. The one, the player that is a new one? Huh? The new one, yes. The player is a new friend or, or it's the one that I knew longer? <sighs> okay. What I explained to you is that the older one is the older one is the one that is there. But this is very complicated. And what, what you should they do... They're both the same age, about like two okay, years Okay, but what we need to do is... And this is very, very, age. very complicated. And it's more so than just a talk a talk show. I have a $10 for $10 reading. 
it'll get you uh -huh. resolved, get to book the reading, and then I'll be able to help you with it more. It's just that because this if is a complicated issue. You could just tell issue. me about one of them. I told you to be I told you to be with the oldest one because that was the one that was more for you, dear. The oldest one. The, the one that I've known for a long time, yes, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Exactly. That's what I'm telling he you. He called me just yesterday. He called me yesterday. Well, that's so what I'm telling you. I haven't you. talked to him. There you go. Huh? That's perfect. That's but, who you should be with. Thank but, you so much. And um, thank you. you're welcome. Uh, 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 all right. So what we're going to do is we're going to wind it down, and we're going to say to everybody that didn't get to call in and do their questions today, um, we got the 10 for 10. So what you can do is you can go click above my head if you're in the chat room, or you can book a reading by going to carriepsychiccafe.com. Um, we're only going to be running for November and December. Please do it as soon as possible because once they run out and the slots run out for the months, we will be done. I do have readings already booked that have people have booked beforehand. So um, time is limited and space is limited. So um, I wanted to, uh, again, let everybody know that what we're looking for here in Carry Psychic Cafe is to try to... Um, not so much rush, but to get accuracy, to make sure that we get verification, testimonial, because those in the chat room do not, uh, they, who's a, that are watching me live, do not, the chat room is awesome too, but you don't see, the chat room don't see, and vice versa. So again, um, what you're witnessing today is me talking through four, my four guardians and being, going and talking and explaining things to people and helping them with their lives, helping them with their career, helping them financially, um, you know, helping them with their, their lost loved ones. I do that on a regular basis. Um, when you book a reading with me, you could book a reading. You could do it in person, Skype, F FaceTime. Um, you could also, um, what else do I do, Fran? I'm actually here in Durham this week. If you, um, anywhere in, in, in that area like Cary, Raleigh, book a reading. If you come in, you can do it in live, in person. I'm in Durham. I have a, I have a, I have a place there to go. The event is on Facebook. Um, if you're not on Facebook, you can actually go to reading from Dorham. Uh, that's your that's on my website, carriesecondcafe.com. Um, I want to thank everybody so much for coming in tonight. Uh, without you, I wouldn't be here. It's been a year. We're not going anywhere. We have so much more to do. Um, we have so much more to, to experience. And, um, again, I, I want you to contribute and tell one person, just one person, and it can change the world. So we'll see you next week, the same time. And, um, again, thank you so much for joining You're us. You're not going to have anything in Raleigh this week? Huh? Yes. Just, just in Durham? No, we're doing Raleigh, Cary, um, Chapel Hill. Um, we did uh, Raleigh, Cary, Chapel Hill. Um, where else? Uh-huh. Morrisville. Morrisville. Uh-huh. And you have openings? I have a lot of openings. I have, well, not, uh, yeah, I have openings. The, I'm here all week. How, how would you, if you're, in, if you're in North Carolina, how would you get in touch with me for a reading? You go to CarriePsychicCafe.com, book a reading, goes right into booking, and you come and see this in person here this week only. So do that too. As far as that's concerned, if you mention this show and you come in and you do a half an hour live reading, you'll get, the spe you'll get a special deal. So again, book a reading by going to CarriePsychicCafe.com. And uh, again, you could uh, click and like me on my uh, Facebook page. And um, I want to thank you so much. God bless. And I'll, t I'll see you next week. You are tuned to the Nissan Communications Network. Our weekly lineup of call-in programs includes Computers 2K Now with Amnon Nissan, Sundays, 9 a.m. till noon. Carrie's Psychic Cafe with Carrie Silkowski, Sundays, 8 till 9 p.m. Health In with Debbie Brook, Mondays, 11 a.m. till noon. Breaking Free with Marilyn Shannon, Mondays, 1 till 2 p.m. Lessons of Vietnam with NCVVI members the second and fourth Wednesday of each month from 7.30 till 8.30 p.m. Reawaken Your Brilliance with Julie Seibert, Wednesdays, 9 till 10 p.m. And if you tuned in too late, you can always watch each program in its entirety or download an MP3 audio file of it at www.nissancommunications.com. Sponsored by thatvidblusterguy.com Carolinaapparel.com and DeltaForce.net.